We're not turning to take in over here at Seabrook. Waiting for FedEx to get out of the way. Wonder if that kid right there is old enough to be driving a truck. <laughs> he looks about 14. <laughs> It's all standing around and took the shit this morning. <laughs> Ain't none of us got shit to do. Ain't got a line of trucks behind me. Must be this kid's first day because he ain't no way to it. <laughs> I know I followed him in here. He stopped back there uh, at a curve. There's no stop sign there. Like he didn't know where he was going. So it must be his first day out here. He got a line of trucks behind me and they're up here too. Shit. <laughs>
know if you just wanted to talk. <laughs> you want to talk about Wyoming? Tell him how he went to Wyoming and went to stay at the Little America Hotel. Well, this is a home, ladies and gentlemen. I am a paid professional. Excuse me, I'll be right back with you. Got my paperwork. I'll be back.
still waiting to get our turn in the door. Get my finger. Ow. <laughs> We're here at Seabrook. U.S. Foods in Seabrook. Uh, we just got back in the door here waiting for them to unload us. Shouldn't take long, but you never know. It's been a while since I've been here. Last time I was here, it didn't take them long at all, but sometimes they take their time. All depends on what mood they're in again. Yay. So we're just hanging out. Hopefully we'll be done out of here and uh, ready to head back down south pretty soon. Down here, get done here. We'll drive down to uh, Milford, Connecticut, and we'll get our trailer washed out. Um, it's uh, 180 miles down there. It's about three hours, depending on traffic. Of course, we're going to hit more than traffic, so that's not going to be any fun. Maybe it won't be too bad. We'll see. If it's when we get out of here, we'll see how bad it is on 95 and 495. If it looks like it's going to be nasty, I'll stop and take take a couple hour nap. Wait for it to thin out a bit. Let's try to shoot down there after the morning rush. Of course, we may be here through the morning rush. You never know. <laughs> they got a lot of trucks in here this morning. So, who knows? Last time I was here, there wasn't that many trucks, but there's a bunch of them here today. Not too many nice trucks. 
<laughs> Bunch of old kid, uh, old Freightliners and Volvos. Got a nice Kenworth next to it. You saw in the video. That was it. Anyway. I had a pretty good night's sleep. Except I woke up about four times. That was a potty. Hope nobody runs me over and crowd it back in. We got an AP trailer on this side, a USB trailer, so nobody's going back in there. There's a big wide spot on this side, so we live back, back to over there. It should have plenty of room. <laughs> but now that I say that, you watch somebody going to take this trailer off. <laughs> Got two trucks out there doing circle for each other. One trying to get set up the back end, the other one trying to get set up the back end across from them. <laughs> it is funny. Of course, one of them's a day cab, Old Dominion. Them guys don't break, they don't wait for nobody. That's one thing I noticed coming up here this morning. I heard two of them talking on the radio. Um, the day cabs. They all slow down for shit. Uh, speed limit was 65. They both passed me running, they had to be running 70 plus. Um, I had my crew set at 64. And I heard him talking on the radio. Uh, what I'm talking about, how you got a ticket through that area not too long ago. Got a $550 ticket. He was speeding. And uh, he was working a double shift. Thing, how the hell are you working a double shift? You know, even the local guys got time sheets they gotta you know, they're not allowed to work past sixteen hours. But he had he had worked all day and then the uh he volunteered to work a, a double shift and run a load down to New York and back. He got a ticket right there on four ninety one. And they're both hauling ass. The other one's talking about how he, um, he's got three loads to run, to run. So he's racing the clock. I'm like, sounds like somebody needs to hire some more drivers. And that's the thing, you know, they, they're overworked. They ain't got enough time in the day. So they're all racing the clock, they're all doing, you know, 10, 15 mile an hour over the speed limit through. And I was say, the speed limit was 65, but then it dropped to 55 for construction zone. And them guys didn't even slow down, they flew right through it. I was like, some bitch, man. Of course, you know, it's early morning, ain't nobody out there, but that don't make shit. Crazy. And you, you know, you see it on the East Coast a lot, or anywhere in the big cities. Uh, you know, all the, you get, they get have this, this hammer down everywhere they go, puts on the floor. 
And then you get to a place like this, and they're, hurry, 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 hurry. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. They get mad as hell when they gotta sit. Me, I don't care. I got all the time in the world. <laughs> I don't get no hurry. I found it a long time ago. It don't pay to hurry. The only time I'm hurrying, y'all seen me. The only time I get in a big hurry is when I'm, run, I'm trying to outrun the weather. <laughs> <coughs> I'm trying to beat the weather somewhere. Then I hurry. Most of the time. I don't worry. They don't pay to hurry. Just get overstressed and overworked for nothing. And I got plenty of time. You know, I leave on I leave early enough that I got time to get where I'm going. Boss man gets to you know, he schedules it far enough out where I ain't gotta hurry. And if I get delayed by weather or by whatever, boss may don't care to call them up and say, hey, it's going to be late. We're going to be a day late. Reschedule it. Rather be safe than sorry. Better to be a day late than not at all. But I can like usually get plenty of time. That's why you'll see me sitting sometimes, I'll take a 14, 16 hour break somewhere just so I can stay on the night shift. Because I got that kind of time. Got to pay the same. There ain't no, there ain't no, I don't need to hurry. You know, these guys, local guys, a lot of them are getting paid by the load, you know. They got to get a certain amount of loads out of there every day. You see that with a lot of dump trucks. You know, they got to haul so much dirt or rock or whatever per day. So they're put on the floor all the time. And that's one thing I've seen in Jersey. Especially in Jersey. As them guys, them dump trucks, man, they, they're put on the floor. They, <laughs> and they weaving in out of traffic doing the craziest shit. Driving a, driving a big ass fucking dump trigger like it's a Ferrari. It's nuts. The driver pay is one of our big deals. You know, tonight everybody gets paid the same. Some get paid by the load, some get paid by the hour, some get paid by the mile, some get salary. I think salary is probably be the best way to do it. You get paid for every day you're in that truck. No matter how many miles you get, no matter how many loads you carry. If you're not at home, you're getting paid. Way I see it. So right now, you know, I get paid by the mile. I don't get paid to do anything else but drive a truck. The truck ain't moving. I'm not getting paid. Like right now, I'm up. Technically, I'm working. Which reminds me. Reminds me, I'm off duty here. Um, yeah, technically I'm working, but I ain't getting paid for it. All the paperwork and stuff we do, we don't get paid for that. All the time you sit, getting unloaded, or mechanic in, or pre-tripping and um, fueling your truck and all that stuff. Don't get paid for it. 
You only get paid when the truck's moving. When you're getting paid by the mile. That's why a lot of drivers won't do those, so. You know, they're not being paid for it. And just because you're making, you know, 50 cents a mile or whatever, you're still not being paid for the work you do. <laughs> you're not. I mean, you average up all that work you're doing plus the driving, you know, you ain't making enough. <laughs> you might as well go back to working in a warehouse. But well, I like doing this job. I do. I like the driving, I like traveling. I've been on the go since I was able to walk. That's my mother. As soon as I could walk, I was gone. <laughs> I was always just gone. So, the job bitch me, I love it. Even though I hate what the politicians have done to it what a lot of drivers out here are doing to it. A lot of them are treated like a job. You know, they, they don't give a shit. They jump in a truck and they go. Hammered down everywhere they go, don't give a shit about nobody else. We'd rather run you over than get than, than help you. It's not just the young ones, it's not the, just the new guys. A lot of the older guys are getting that way. Me, I just try to stay out of the way. Don't get run over. And help a guy out if he needs it. Try. Why you, you guys talk about me, you know, you know, not passing a lot of trucks or not seeing a lot of traffic in front of me when I'm on a two lane road? Because I'm not getting in a hurry. I just, I set my cruise at right around the speed limit, maybe a little over, a couple of mile an hour over. I let everybody else just run off and leave me, I don't care. <laughs> get out of my way. They they gone, they out of my way. And I just put it along. I don't need to get in a hurry. I'll pass the ones that like prime that do a 55 mile an hour and a 70. Can't help it to pass those guys. I could walk faster than that. <laughs> you'll see me pass prime, you'll see me pass England. All them guys that are, you know, lower, you know, 65 or less. I set my crew to 68 and a 70 and just let it roll. We would speed up and drop to 65, I dropped to 65. Of course, I run 80 all the time, and the only place you get to less than 65 is in the Chicago area. <laughs> yeah, I don't get no hurry. They don't pay me to get to hurry. And I got all the time in the world with my loads. I ain't got to work that hard. I used to. I used to haul ass. Back when I had wide open trucks and running containers. I'd pick up a load on Sunday down there in Liberal. The load was supposed to be ready on Friday. I get there Friday. Oh, your load's not ready. Okay. 
I was supposed to be in Long Beach, California by Monday morning to catch the boat to China. And they'd hand me the bills about noon Sunday. And I'd hammer down 1,200 miles overnight. But as hard as that took a run. And I was running hard. I did that for like six months. Ran just as hard as that truck would drive. I quickly figured out it's ain't worth it. They ain't paying me enough. If I'd have told them, you know they built more than one boat. I'll be there when I get there. So I quit doing that. They're running containers too. They can fuck off. <laughs> Sorry about my language, but I ain't, I'm glad I don't do that no more. Trashy trailers, trashy equipment, especially tires. Hey, this truck don't love me. Mm. Gonna rock the boat. Easy. Tear my shit up back there. Anyway, I'm gonna get off here. And I'll probably talk to y'all later. Have a good morning.